What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out Let Them Come, a game that is very simple in its premise. This is one of those games where you are a lone badass action hero, sitting all by your lonesome behind your trusty LMG, and you've got to try and last as far as you can into the game. In between waves you'll be able to buy upgrades and do all kinds of cool stuff. I'll admit that this is one of those games that when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, it's pretty, but the premise, I don't understand... Like, how long can you actually play this game, though, before you've essentially run out of content? But the truth of the matter is, this is one of those games that weirdly ends up being very, very replayable. So without further ado, let's check out Let Them Come. A uh, new game. It's a dark time for the human race. Aliens are breeding in the galaxy and spreading like a disease. In an attempt to contain the infestation... Mercenary team was sent to freighter vessels held hostage by a mysterious new life form. The threat was underestimated. Only one survived the onslaught. That's you, soldier. Rock Gunner, ex military special ops badass mercenary gun for hire. Gear up and load out. They're coming. Yeah, apparently so. He forgot to grow the mustache on his beard, though. Ooh. Yup. All right, we got the theme song. We got it all going. So left click, we can fire the gun. Pretty much it. Things are gonna chum. They're gonna try and kill us. If they get to us, they will kill us. You've got some limited health and some limited padding, but you know, this is not a game that you're really intended to win. You're supposed to lose eventually, then buy a bunch of upgrades, and then you always start from the wave that you were on. Oh, I don't have the knife yet. Shit, so when things jump at you, later on you can get a baseball bat or a chainsaw or a knife or any of that kind of stuff in order to knock them back. Totally doable. Uh, those are definitely things that are conceivable, but we've been cloven in twain, unfortunately. We have a hundred bucks to spend, so we can go to the inventory. Uh, it wants us to buy the knife, so these items are currently available to buy. This is There's a lot of stuff you can get in this game, seriously. This list, oh, it wants me to buy the knife first. There we go, I've bought the knife. We dragged it into our secondary slot. And switch between Corpse Store and Boombox. There it is, just in case you want to change the music up, if you really, really want to. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to unlock so far, and the developer is actively adding more stuff to the game. I had the chance to play this game, like, in a limited setting when I was at PAX last year. And I had fun with it. I liked the lighting effects, and I liked the graphics. But once again, my concern was, like, how is this game going to be replayable? And now that I've actually got hands-on with the game, I'm happy to tell you that, yeah, you're going to be playing it a lot. Now, we've got our mission briefing. Welcome to Blinity. A Class II fighter vessel last received communication seven months ago. Primary mission objective, reconnaissance. Uh, update 6, confirm casualties, moon mission objective, clear cargo hold area, and head to command bridge. So that's what we're doing. Uh, this will give you a little readout on the various aliens that you've seen so far, just in case you wanted to get a backstory on them. It kind of fulfills, you know, back in the old days when you got a manual with your Sega Genesis games or your PC games or whatever, they would have, like, little cool Easter eggs like this where it would have art and, you know, little readouts on all the things you'd be fighting in the game. I consumed those things like crazy when I was a kid. I read those more than normal books because I wanted to, like, understand the world that I was playing inside of with a lot of these games. And so... I like the fact that they've included that. It's kind of like a little digital manual. We click on the gun to kick off combat. Let's go. It's wave one time. Oh, when our combo meter fills up, cool things happen. The meter down at the bottom of the screen, well, that's our heat gauge. That one tried to get through right there. I would highly suggest dealing with spiders the best you can. Uh, you can kill them with a the knife if they jump at you. It's not too bad. But later on, you'll have better utilities for dealing with that problem. Is that wave one, or are we still... Oh, we're still hyped up in here. All right, keep shooting. Keep that gun blazing. As of right now, we don't have to worry too much about heat. We made it through wave one. I'm happy with our performance. Combo meter isn't going to fill up real fast until later on in the game once we start getting, like, ridiculous bazillion multi-kills. So anytime you kill the enemy with one bullet and it kills, like, nine of them, it fills up your meter more because it counts as a devastating combo. And so you're trying to, later on, we'll get hand grenades and landmines and drones and stuff like that that'll help out with the process. Or, like these little dudes right here, these little egg guys, they explode when you kill them. And that makes the job a little bit easier, too. If you can time it right, you can actually wipe out, like, full chunks of the enemy wave. Like that right there. Exactly. Combo meter's almost full. I'm excited to see what bonus we're going to get, but we got to survive that far first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Badass heroes can't rest on their laurels. So we can get a skill multiplier, a gun drone, or an airstrike. 
Gun drone is what I'm going to go for. You want to click as near to the top as you possibly can. It's going slow right now just for demo purposes, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, we've got ourselves a gun drone. It'll deploy right now, and it'll start firing little bullets out to help us out with the wave that's in front of us. I don't think we're going to survive a really long time. Like, we'll probably make it to, like, wave 8 or 9 if we're very lucky. We might not even make it past this wave if I don't stop wasting air talking. There's wave 5. Let the gun cool down a little bit. All right, let's go. Hopefully the gun drone will start targeting things that are a little bit more useful, but you can never guarantee what it's going to shoot at. It does give you some additive help, though. And the rocket drone, there's another drone that shoots missiles at the enemy and just causes all kinds of crazy explosions that light up the screen. That one can clear entire waves for you. Uh, enemies explode on death, double money, or change it up. I'm going to go with explode on death. Ah, I overshot it. You see, that's the standard right there. It goes a lot faster once you're further into the game. But yeah, I love the lighting effects and the graphics in this game, and I think the simplicity of the game is actually the elegance of it. It's a very simple concept. You get attacked by stuff, you earn money, mix, repeat. Like, you do your thing, and you do your best you can to hold the enemy off in a stylized environment, and that's pretty much it. I sat down with the game, and I've played quite a bit. I like this game a lot. It's also already got a New Game Plus mode, in case you were wondering where the content's at. We made it to Wave 7. I don't know if we'll clear the next one, though, without, like, a significant bonus. Me messing up that combo thing that allowed us to get explosive bullets was a mistake. I messed up bad over there. We get barbed wire? I've never seen that before, so I'm gonna take it. Let's get... I guess it puts barbed wire on the front of our little station. Keep the gun aimed. And sometimes you're gonna have to kind of look at multiple places on screen at the same time if you want to clear stuff. I think that's our wave right there. Like I said, wave 8 or 9 is looking like a possibility. Depending on how well I can combo these guys down right now, we have no utilities or anything to fall back on. So it is going to be difficult. Keep the gun centered downwards. I'll knife everything that I can along the way. Ah, and there it is. We got shredded. I missed that last one. We made $680, though, which is dope shiggity schwa. But I dropped the skeddy. I am a skeddy dropper, and so here we are. There's a monster trying to get through the door. That kind of sucks. I uh, wish that we could get that kind of pinned down a little bit further. There looks like the remains of a human being right there. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can get. Uh, you can buy any upgrades you want at any point. You can save your money, you can sort of spend, save, whatever, it's up to you. Uh, we can do rapid fire. I am going to take rapid fire. That upgrade is going to go into our passive slots. Super cool. I think it'd be a good idea if we picked up some kind of grenade. My favorite grenade is the Molotov cocktail. I think it's the best. Any grenade that stays on the ground and periodically discharges and deals damage over the long term is a good idea. Anything that does not do that is kind of situational. So I think we'll start off with the shot grenade for right now. It's cheap. We can get a bunch of them. There it is. We've got ourselves 18 shot grenades for the push into the late game. Well, this time I did it. I was finally able to record the strange sounds we were hearing in Bayfoot 75. I left my recorder on overnight close to where I thought the sounds were coming from, and as it turns out, it was a cat. After all that speculation. Now we've also got bursters and other things inside of here. We haven't unlocked any new music, but as you get further into the game, you find mixtapes, and you can add them to your playlist for all the songs that you like. Kind of a cool little feature. I enjoy it. I got everything equipped, so let's do this thing. The downside to rapid fire is that our heat is going to go up much more rapidly. However, even with it going, I haven't overheated very often, unless I'm running and gunning pretty much the entire mission. I threw that grenade out right there. Let's kind of throw something out right oh no that was a mistake so when you die if you're stuck on a wave the game will let you shuffle the enemies because sometimes you get a combination of enemies that just nobody can beat that without help or you can go with a random bonus now the random bonus lets you start out with a combo meter bonus i'll shuffle the enemies on that one but that was mostly my fault for not paying attention and talking back at it again let's do this thing all right enemies where are you at there we go we got an exploder right there that sounds all right with me let's get one of those out real quick just to sort of hold the enemy back ever so slightly. I do think that it'd be a good idea to ease back on some of the screen shake. I'm not a big fan of screen shaking, so at least giving the player the option to turn off screen shake uh, would be much appreciated from people like me who are heavily biased. Oof. No good. I'm not doing well right now. This is a little ugly. I'm a little embarrassed by my performance. I've made it to, like, high waves in this game. Trust me, I'm just not paying attention because I'm talking. Let's throw... I'm going to try and keep those on the edge of the screen just to buy me... A little bit of leeway. If you spam grenades on cooldown, they're not on cooldown, but like, if you spam them every time you're up, you can basically cakewalk your way to like wave 80. Like, it's really not that hard. Uh, we got a couple more of those right there. We just need combo meter to get us started. 
we can make that happen, I think that'd be good. So we got Explode on low health. I'm okay with that. Let's go with Explode on low health. So every now and again, enemies going to blow up every single time they die. I don't know how many more grenades I want to put out, but there is a resupply event you can get when you fill up your combo meter. So keep that in mind. You can actually get free grenades, free special bullets, free buffs and stuff like that from the resupply option in case that's what you're looking for. We're playing this one a little close to the chest right now, and it worries me. Let's go. Enemies explode on death, and also they explode on low health. I think that'll help out a little bit. There we go. Rapid fire is carrying us a little bit. We almost got eaten right there, but I had my knife ready to go. I was ready for the enemy. We only got a couple of grenades left, so hopefully on our next combo meter we'll get... I'm hoping on our next combo meter we end up with maybe a resupply. I think that'll carry us a little bit further, but... Uh, there it is, resupply. I think resupply only comes up when you're low on resources. I threw two grenades like there, like an idiot. And so unfortunately, I think we're going to suffer for that one. Those things are pooping boogers on my floor, and I am not okay with booger poops on my floor. Ow! That fool killed me with a grenade! How rude. That's just not acceptable social behavior. We got a new message. Biomaterials. List of biomaterials and clothes deliver to the engineering sector. Okay, I don't care about that. Uh, let's play around with some new bullet types to kind of dig us out of trouble when we get... When we end up in a nasty situation, it's nice to have special bullets. We are going to need to be able to afford things. We've got piercing ammo, shock ammo, explosive ammo. It goes on and on, man. There's all kinds of ammos, and each one is kind of cool. So we'll just work our way down the list. We'll go with penetrating ammo for right now. Uh, we will take 50 more rounds of it, so we got the maximum amount. Let's increase our shot grenade count to whatever we can afford. So there's 17 of them. That'll help out. And let's do this thing. It's back into action. Time to put down that nicotine death stick. And make things occur. Very nice. Just feeling that one right there. A little explosion right there. Let me get that out. God. Those suicide bombers. Uh, give me a random bonus. Oh, we got barbed wire. Eh, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's better than nothing. Back into action. I ain't trying to... I ain't trying to wait this thing out right now. We gotta, we gotta get some revenge here. There we go. Let's try to focus on the runners, I guess. I'm gonna try and keep a grenade out as much as possible, too, because it seems to really slow them up. Uh, is that guy gonna die anytime soon? Damn. Those dudes got some soak HP on them. They got that soak pool. They got that high constitution nonsense going on. Uh, for the middle mouse button, we can fire our special bullets that penetrate the enemy and go straight through. I think it's a good idea a lot of the time. I'm going to go for double damage here. Yep, that'll carry us for a little while. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see is how long your power-ups last. It's one of those little things that the game doesn't put on screen as far as I know. But I'd like a little meter that tells you how long you have until like your rocket drones and all that other stuff bail out on you and are no longer useful. Put a little bit of shocking damage out there. Keep that going. I think we're doing a pretty good job at holding them back right now, though. I think we're getting a lot of explodies on this wave. There are bosses, and the bosses are pretty interesting. Uh, the bosses have different things that they do, where you've got to shoot them at certain points at certain times to make them fall back. And if they get to your barricade, like, you automatically lose. There's definitely some interesting mechanics in there. Uh, focus on the ceiling, because I think the shock bomb's going to get a lot of those guys. Let me get the gun drone. There we go. I got a perfect gun drone right there, which means I think it fires more frequently. Yeah, it does. It fires really frequently, so based on how high you can get the meter filled, it'll do a better or worse job of gun droning. So even if you fail, you still get the gun drone, and it still does its job. It's just a tad more risky. I'm going to throw out a grenade while I wait for the barrels to cool down. And out we go. I'm going to focus on clearing the ceiling, because the ones on the ceiling don't get hit by the grenades. And so it's always a reasonably decent idea to ensure that you've got some kind of ground cover going on. I can change up my grenade, or I can make enemies explode on low health. I'm going to go with a resupply. I think that might be my better option, considering I get free bullets, free ammo, and all that kind of stuff. I am going to let piercing bullets carry me for a little while. Looks good. And then we'll throw out one of those bad Bettys right there. Enjoy being shocked to death, my friends. I think you get four grenades on, like, a perfect resupply roll, and I think you get about 25 bullets. We've got a new enemy in here. Let's go with a score multiplier. I need that grenade to go out to a really good spot. There we go. We've got a shielder in there. I don't know if you saw them. There's little guys that move up behind riot shields, and they are a pain in the asshole. That's why I recommend you get something along the lines. Uh, get something along the lines of... Keep those going out. 
Get something along the lines of like a Molotov or something that hurts things and punishes them for staying in one spot for too long. I think that's one of the fundamental reasons why the Molotov is such a good choice. I might have made bad decision making here. Eh, we might. Ooh, double barrel. Yeah, I like double barrel. Oh, double barrel getting it. Uh, the double barrel will fall off eventually. Apparently, it's a poorly manufactured double barrel. Yeah. You do get double heat, and you do spend double bullets on your special bullets, though, while you're doing this. So bear that in mind as well. So you'll go through your special ammo really fast in double barrel mode. Like, really, really fast. Almost crazy fast. Very nice. Hopefully, double barrel holds out a little while longer. Uh, we can get an airstrike. Yeah, do an airstrike. I just, I can't turn down a free explosion. I mean... What was not to love about that? That was just gratuitous. I think that calling in an airstrike when you're in space would be kind of difficult. I wasn't expecting... Uh, yeah, we might have a problem. I only got one shot grenade left, which is a problem of a whole different nature. Yeah, let's go for double damage. Ah, I overshot it. Jesus. We're still getting double damage, but our fire rate's going to be lower. Uh, maybe a little bit of the piercing ammo? Just go through everything we've got right now. Try to keep us safe. Uh, leech life on kill. Resupply. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm actually not going to risk that one just so I can get a better resupply. Oof. Okay. We might make it through one more wave if I can do this intelligently. Uh, shoot that guy in the head. Make sure that he can't get anything done. Get another nade out. Oh, my God. Uh, double barrel sounds good. Unlimited item seems really good, though, too. Unlimited items. Let's go for that. Uh, that dude's going to try and come in and get me, so I'm going to knife him right there. Oh, no. Oh, I was worried that exploder was... Oh, I got one right there. I ate one of those little spider dudes. Oof, Jesus. This is getting stressful. I only got a couple of grenades left. But we do have infinite consumables right now. Oh, a rocket drone. Yeah, take it. Get that thing in there. It'll help. If we can last long enough to let it do its thing... It will carry an entire wave. Trust me, it will. Focus fire a little bit right there. Score multiplier or health. Let's go with a frenzy. I don't know what frenzy does. I think it makes you fire super fast. That looks like what it's doing right now. That has a lot of effects on screen. I don't even know if I need to use a shock bomb right now, but I'm going to do it anyways. There are achievements and stuff for killing like 100 enemies in one frenzy. We are going to lose our rocket drone reasonably soon. And I think that's going to be the point at which we're going to have to fall back. Uh, give me double damage. There we go. Give me a little bit more of that heat for the streets. I don't know if I can cancel a grenade. Can I? I don't know. Keep firing. Make it happen. We got a lot of money going into the account right now. We are going to be a very rich mercenary if we can pull this off. But that doesn't seem like that kind of story. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem like that kind of story. Cool. Got double money from each one of these ones that we're killing right now. Combo meter's looking good. Oh, we're on the boss. Oh, no. I don't know if we're set up to fight with the boss. Keep bullets on him, maybe? I can cut the bullets down, I think, with my knife. I gotta let the gun cool down. That's the first time we've stopped shooting in this entire episode. Let that sink in for a minute. I don't know what he was trying to do right there, but we are dealing no damage at all. And that's pretty bad. Oh, Jesus. Well, now we got other stuff to focus on. Namely, spiders trying to... Oh, my God. Spiders trying to ruin my life. Now we got our score award right there. We made a lot of money on that run. I think we made some really solid progress. We ran into the boss with no consumables and nothing else going on. So we've got new stuff. Katie, as was promised, here's the mix inventory, the Mixo inventory tape my folks had sent me last summer. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Feel free to pass it on when you're done with it. And then I was taking a break when it happened. I heard the screams and then I peeked out. Shouldn't have looked. The image is going to haunt me forever. I'm holed up in the supply room. Pretty sure this is my last entry. So as you can see... We got new mixtapes, so we can take this stuff and we can just add it to the playlist. There we go. Add that on into the playlist. I'm going with explosive ammo, and I want to hurt something. Got 100 explosive bullets right there. Give me... 
Yeah, let's go in on the Molotovs. Let's do it. It's going to cost too much to do that, but I can afford about that many. So we'll take the Molotovs on in. And let's go up against a boss. I've never gone up against the boss by my lonesome before. But it looks like the explosive ammo is doing a pretty good job at making him have a terrible day. Yeah, clear them spiders off, please. And there it is. We used up pretty much... Oh, no, my left button is assigned to... Ew, my left button is assigned to dead bullet or explodey bullets, too. Weak. I love these little cutscenes. Just this little badass dude walking. Got a boombox over his shoulder and dragging an LMG through an iridescent club scene. Oh, luckily I get to resupply right now, so it's not that big of a deal. So there we go. We got 500 bucks. I'm going to strongly suggest we spend the majority of that amount on more explodey bullets. Explodey bullets are life. Explodey bullets are love. Let's keep this thing rocking. I'm going to throw out a Molotov about as soon as possible. Let those things burn as soon as they hit the firewall. I love the way that blood gets all over the windows in the background. In some ways, it reminds me of Splatterhouse, where like you could decorate the walls of the level with just like lots of blood and viscera and stuff like that. And that was something I had never really seen before until I had played Splatterhouse. That was kind of mind-blowing back in the Sega Genesis days. I think we should be able to clean those up no problem. Let the gun cool down for a minute. Throw that out. Let them find out if they try to cross across the barricade. Well, it ain't going to go well. It is not going to go well. Uh, give me a gun drone, please. We got perfect on that gun drone. Very nice. Hopefully, we're a little bit behind right there, and I was worried the gun drone wasn't going to get here in time to help out with it. Love the fire effects and the lighting effects. They are just magnificent. Uh, that's something that's done excessively well in this game. Like, crazily well. Let's do our best to keep a firewall up. I, I think I got a little bit behind back there, and then I got punished for it. Uh, give me explodey rounds. Double barrel explodey rounds. We're a little messed up, though. We do have a gun drone. Let me get some health back. There we go. That'll heal me up ever so slightly, make things a little bit more survivable in case I eat a couple of those little spiders on the way in. Yup, just keep the... Ah, push them back with the explodies. There we go. Got them nice and pushed back. I think we should have a good chance of pushing through without having to use any more of my consumables. Put that right there as just a safety precaution. Throw out another one as a safety precaution. Those guys aren't really moving, but the fire does spread between all of the enemies, so keep that in mind, too. Uh, we got enemies explode every now and again when they get down to low health. I think that'll help out, especially since we're using dots. We're using a fire effect to help them get down to lower health. That might assist us. I think it'll work out. Eh, clear out some of the bugs. We got one of these dudes right here. There we go. That'll solve the problem. One explodey bullet is all you need a lot of the time. Ah, we lost our little homie, unfortunately. We lost Ingvar. That's what I call my gun drone. Let's push them back ever so slightly with the explodies. That looks good. Let me get a resupply. Cool. Resupply will give us a couple extra explosive bullets. Let's knock them out. Just in case something else tries to rush from down below. Seems like mostly we're dealing with bugs right now. And it's easier to kill them the old-fashioned way. With a gratuitous assignment of flame and explosion. I'm going to get that out. And let's make sure that guy doesn't get anywhere near us. Let me get a, yeah, an airstrike. That sounds enjoyable. That should make us safer behind our little, is he firing a gun at me right now? You little douche. These guys have firearms. I don't accept that at all. I just got winged with a round. We good here? Or are we still trying to, we still trying to do this thing? Put that out right there. We can go into a frenzy or we can get an airstrike. Let's go into a frenzy, I guess. Frenzy sounds pretty good. Yep, knock them all down. I think in Frenzy you can't take damage too, but I haven't verified that one. I just don't know. Oh, we are going to need explodey rounds. I didn't want to use them, but unfortunately you got to do what you got to do. Let me get some health back. Oh, I'm out of explodey rounds. Things are about to go very poorly. Ooh. Well, that worked out okay. I guess I lucked into that win. Yeah, I think we're going to need a Molotov on this one. If we don't exclusively use Molotovs almost every single time we've got an opening, this wave is not going to be sustainable. Double damage? Yes, please. I will take that buff right this second. I need any kind of supplement that I can get to my current situation. 
Come on. Yup, gun him down. We made it another wave. This game is not about quitting. This game about is staying in it to win it. We don't care that we're out of bullets. We don't care that things aren't going our way. We'll use our combo bonuses and our raw mercenary murder skills to get through this. Oh, a resupply or a rocket drone. It's so tempting. Ah, uh, resupply, I guess. There we go. That gave me 32 more explodey bullets. We might still be in this to win this. Uh, put that out right there. Probably help out with some of the spiders. That is a lot of spiders. Yeah! No lie, that's a lot of spiders. Luckily, we've got a fallback plan now with explodey bullets so we can make stuff. Ah, oh, I got my brain shot off by one of the pistol guys. I saw that, you skeevy little bastard. This game is called Let Them Come. If you like to get the game down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day here on the internet to get you hyped about whatever is new and coming out. It is my passion, my pride, my joy, and I hope I get to do it for all of you for a long time. If you'd like to help me keep doing that, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. It keeps the channel up and running. Channels run on likes and comments. So anytime you got a chance, an arbitrary comment, a little bit of a like here and there keeps me up and trucking. Support the developers by getting the game if you liked what you saw. And other than that, I'll see you in whatever comes next. I do, everybody. Bye.